Thank you, Mr. Chairman. This president is breaking 40 years of precedent with his complete lack of financial transparency and his refusal to release his tax returns really is a red flag. If he has nothing to hide, then why not release them? Um, he cited an ongoing audit with no evidence. as it, That's his reason for keeping his returns under lock and key. Yet we know there's nothing but himself that's stopping him from releasing his returns. And given this president's evasiveness, his conflicts of interest, Congress has a constitutional responsibility to use its authority to obtain the records needed to perform rigorous, unbiased oversight. That's clearly in the public interest, and it's also something incredibly important to the public. We know that three quarters of Americans have said that President Trump should release his tax returns including 50% of his supporters. So we also know that President Trump is, not, is no longer a private citizen. He is an elected official in the highest office in the land, and he works for American taxpayers. And he has also boasted about his mastery of tax loopholes that makes him an exceptional guide for us as we go through tax reform. So the American public deserves to know if and how their president has been paying his taxes before entrusting him, entrusting him with shepherding far-reaching changes to the current tax system. And his tax returns in particular would tell us what he's paid in taxes, what tax breaks has he claimed, does he have offshore accounts? These are things that are important that we need to see tax returns to tell. Um, to obtain this information. Um, will this president benefit from tax reform proposals that are being pushed by the White House? The public definitely deserves an answer to that question. Um, we've tried every which way to make sure that Congress has the facts needed to ensure transparency, and we're going to keep trying because people deserve to know what conflicts of interest, foreign or domestic, may influence the president's decision making. So excuses or alternative facts should be unacceptable to all of us, Republicans or Democrats. I urge folks to support the measure and I yield the balance of my time to Mr. Pasquale.